Hey y'all, it's me again. Welcome to Cadillac Cooking. I was the board chef, but I'm, I'm tired of saying that. So we're gonna call these segments, these segments, Cadillac Cooking. Okay, because we cook for Cadillacs and Dean and Debbie's and everything else. Okay, but today I'm gonna show you how to do fried rice. Okay, first we're gonna cook the egg. We're gonna have eggs. We gotta have some vegetables here some carrots and green peas, and some green onion. I have some soy sauce. I have some fish sauce, and I have some oil. And it's very easy to do. Um, I like to do mine with day-old rice or three-day-old rice. It's rice you had in the refrigerator for a good little minute, and you want to do something else with it, and they're tired of looking at it. So you say, okay, let's, let's do some fried rice with it. So first of all, I'm going to crack these eggs. I'm going to get that white stuff out of the eggs because we don't like white things in the eggs, honey. We don't know what that is. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a dilemma. Sometimes I think it's, somebody says it's the um, uh, umbilical cord. Somebody says something else, but I don't know what it is, but it don't look real pleasing in my eggs. I have to get them out. I was always taught to get them out, and that's what we do. We're going to get them out. Then we're going to actually... You don't want to fry the egg all the way. You're supposed to put a little oil in the pan. And I'm going to beat these eggs a little bit, just a little bit. Put a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, regular vegetable oil in the pan. I'm just going to stir around a little bit in this little bowl here. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to scramble them a little bit. But you just do it real lightly because when you put them in the pan with the rest of the vegetables and everything, you want to have it where you can, it has some substance to it, so I don't want to just fry the egg hard. You do it softly. That's why I use this wooden spoon. And you put the egg in there. And just gonna let it go on I'll sit there, and I tell you when it starts cooking. And you don't season the egg. You want to season everything when it comes out. Uh, got some black pepper, some salt. Oh, I might put a little parsley in mine. Okay. Let's see here. And also, I'm going to have shrimp tempura with it. But I'm not going to do the shrimp tempura. I'm going to tell you where I got it from. I got it from Costco. And it comes in this big box of like 30. And it's the best thing. And actually, I'm, by the time I get through with this, the shrimp should be done. That's how fast we're going to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to about 350, about 360. And I'm going to let it get going. Because I got shrimp in the oven already. Just put them in the, pop them in the oven when they get brown and crispy and hot and popping and whatever you know it's done because it's already done. Um, but it looks sort of has the consistency of like um, a upscale uh, fish stick. So, but as you can see, my egg, see the egg? How's it doing? Okay. We just gonna stir it around a little bit in the oil. We just not, we not gonna fry it real. It's on high, I got my stove on high, but I'm just gonna turn it down and we just gonna flip it around a little bit until it gets like like sloppy i don't want to stir it too much because when i put it in beat it down and put it in this pan i needed to do what it needed to do so i'm gonna turn this stove off but i'm gonna let you see how it is it's real real light you just flip it over and flip it over and flip it over you flip the egg over like that and it's you know some people like it running like that but it's, we call it half done where i come from and we don't want it like that so we're gonna it would be nice to put some cheese on right by now and eat a sandwich, but I can't do that. So I'm just going to lay it to the side right here and get ready. So then we have this big pot right here. Or you can use a wok, whatever you do, but I use a deep, deep skillet. I'm going to turn this oven on high over here. This eye on high, not the oven. And I'm going to pull a little oil in here. But probably about a couple of teaspoons of oil, not that much. And we, what we're going to do is I'm going to get that oven hot. And I'm going to use a spatula. This spatula, if you start turning stuff, you'll see it's, it's easy. Uh, it's going to be real easy to, to do. Uh, who is this coming through my door right in the middle of my cooking show? Don't come in the middle of my cooking show. You need to go around there. Okay, then. You need to talk to me. Yes, I'm talking. I'm yeah, I'm talking. I'm telling them how to do the stuff. Get out of my kitchen. Okay, that's how folks do love to interrupt people. You see how people do? Okay. 
how can I be great when you always in my business? Okay, since we got the egg in here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to saute these vegetables. And because the vegetables are frozen, we just going to keep in the... We're going to move around. Like I said, I got some carrots, some green peas, and some onions, some green onions. I'm just going to move them around in here and get them all wet and saute. I'm going to saute these. And then I might put a little season on them. I don't know. But we're going to just stir those around. We're going to get those real good and hot and, and, and good. And I, oh, I got to get a little garlic. So I forgot about my little garlic in here. Okay, got the little garlic right here. I'm going to use some garlic salt. I don't have any fresh minced garlic. Sometimes you got to go with what you have already. And see, this is one of those days where I didn't want to cook anything spectacular. And I was like, okay, what we have in here to make something with? We can, You can do this all day long in your kitchen. There's something in your kitchen that you can already you know, make something out of. I don't care if it's just a piece of bread. You can make them croutons. It's something in the kitchen you can use already. So we got this skillet on high. I went on to get on, get on. That's one thing about this little flat skid at home. When you mess with electricity and not gas, you have to wait on to do what it don't do. And then you gotta make sure your pot's all right and all that's all right. But it's gonna be okay. Uh, what I do is I season my little vegetables a little bit right now. Just put a little, little ground back pepper on it. Season. A lot of people use white pepper. I use black so I can see how much pepper I got in there. Because if I use white, I won't know. Don't that make sense to anybody? Okay, now we, I hear sizzling. You hear sizzling? That means it's getting down. It's getting ready to do what it do. Okay. So, we're going to saute these and move these around because the skillet is getting good and hot. And that's what we're going to do. We've got the little oil in here. And that's what your vegetables look like. I'm going to show you every step. Okay, that's the vegetables. Just in the oil. They're just in the oil cooking. That's all. It's in the oil, cooking the vegetables, getting them real, getting them soft enough to eat, actually. Getting them soft enough to eat. And like I said, this is something you can make any day, any time. Anytime you have some rice, you say, okay, this. you don't have to go to the Chinese restaurant to get stir fried, honey. You can stir fry it in your house. That's what you need to do. Okay. Get these vegetables all soft enough in this oil. Mmm, smell good. Smell good. Peas are popping. Smells good. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to turn this down a little bit because I'm going to get ready to put my rice in here. You don't know. You get those vegetables all sauteed and good and soft. And you'll know because your, your onions will start turning light color. And I got some regular onions and some green onions in here. Okay. So they'll start turning translucent. That's when you know your, your, your peas and everything else is about getting ready to to make a move okay so i'm gonna scrape this to the side it's good to use a big spatula and then i got this rice over here and i swear it's about ooh, it's about three or four cups of rice but see you eat this for several days and you just wop that rice over in there like that and then you chop the rice up because the rice been in the refrigerator so it's cold so you want it to, to break up in there i will put my hands in here they're clean but I don't feel like being all missing. I'm going to be cute today. And I'm going to do it with this special. I'm going to break all that rice up. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And we just going to get it going in the oil. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get this rice going. You see the rice popping out of everywhere. Woo, we're going to mix that rice up. we be vegetables in here. This honey is looking it's looking fabulous, I'm telling you. We just mix that rod in there. And we're going to put some more seasoning on it as well because we know that, you know, we have to have a lot of seasoning and stuff when you're using. Okay, I'm going to put a little salt right there. Put a little garlic in there. Since we don't have garlic, I don't have garlic salt. I'm just going to put a little garlic right there. And you can put as about as much as you want to put in whatever you want to put it in. I'm going to put a little parsley on mine because I like parsley. And it's just pretty in color. And then we're going to put, I can stir that around. I don't want the burn. I turn the stove down. I'm going to stir that around right there. We're going to add little chunks of rice. So you got to chunk your rice up. You got to chunk your rice up. Make sure your rice all chunked up. Okay. And stir it around, stir it around. Because you got to move fast with this. I got fish sauce. Some people use, uh, I'm just going to put like a half a teaspoon 
Some people use oyster sauce. And I'm going to use soy sauce and the fish sauce. And that just gives it that beautiful color. Ooh. And I'll tell you what else I'm going to have too. I don't have it up here right now, but I was going to tell you, sometimes you have to put a little sugar in it. Because sweet peas just don't do it enough. But you stir that around, huh? With those onions. And you don't want bits of rice. You don't want chunks of rice. I'm still dealing with the chunks right now. I guess I had it refrigerated a little too long. I don't know, but... It didn't, it didn't smell. I knew it was good, so it's not fun. But I use like a hmm, tablespoon of the soy sauce and a table. Some people don't like a lot of soy sauce. Like people, some people just like a. Uh, I'm gonna ease over here, and flip over here, and give it some sugar. Cause you don't like the little sweet. And then I'm gonna put this egg back in here. We gotta put our egg back in here. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna take a just a little bit of sugar and put it over there because I like sweet stuff and he likes sweet stuff. We're gonna put some sugar on there. And I'll mix it around and then we gotta dump our egg back in there. And you dump your egg in there and this way you start chopping your egg. You chop your egg up in there and you stir fry your egg up in there and you make it real fat. There's two eggs I put in here. So that should be enough for all of this. But you want your egg in there. And there's a, uh, oh, that smells wonderful. That smells good. I don't know how it says it's going to taste, but let me show you what it looks like, baby. You see that good old, that's fried rice, honey. That's how we do it. That's how you do the fried rice. And it's easy. See how easy it was? And I put all that in there, honey, and all you just do is, and I make your tie. Make your own tie. If you got off the grid, go on. So, yeah, that'll make your own tie, but... Baby, this is Cadillac Cookie, 2020. We quarantine. You better learn how to do something else besides run your mouth. That's true. And stay out of the streets, honey, because that coronavirus, we do not want it, honey. So we just, we're through with the fried rice, y'all. We're through. I'm going to plate it when it get done. Let y'all see how it, how it plate up. But uh, we're done with that fried rice, baby. I'm going to pull this camera up, let y'all see it. I'm going to let you see it in a, see how good that look. I want you to see how good it look at that skin. We almost done with that fried rice. We can turn that stove off, honey. That's a wrap. That's a wrap with the fried rice, honey. And I'm not going over going to Chinese restaurant to get what we can make at home. Ooh. Child, we taught Chinese how to cook. They ain't told us nothing about no fried rice. They might have told us about a little bit of soy sauce or whatever, but we don't need none of that to tell us nothing. Sure don't. Because, honey, a slave know how to do a lot of things with nothing and leftovers. That's what we learn how to do, and that's what we do. Mm-hmm. I don't want to continue to turn up. My shrimp will be ready in about 10 minutes. It don't take long for the little shrimp to get done. But I'm going to give me a, a plate. And put this on here for Mr. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna use no real plate. We gonna use a, a look, I just wanna show y'all how beautiful this fried rice is. For real. That's all, I just wanna show you how wonderful it turned out cause I'll put the rest of this up. You see how beautiful that is? Fried rice. There it is right there. Fried, fried rice. Smells, ooh, smells delightful, honey. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm gonna put that right there for Mister, so he'll have some. But he gonna eat this again. Cause it's gonna be fried rice again somewhere. So that's about it. It's Cadillac cooking on a Thursday, and we'll see you next time. I want you to see my little shrimp when it come out, but you know what? I really don't have time to be waiting on these shrimp. I might come back. Let me see. Can I? I can't even pause you. When I say goodbye, that's going to be it. But I've enjoyed you today. You come back and see me. All right. Cadillac Cooking signing off. Have a good day.